Today I want to show you guys how to install a more modern looking coat rack in, we're going to do it in our doorway entryway here, or you can do it in a hallway, in a closet, something like that. We're working with a company called Tidy Hangers right here. They sent us their, it's like a creative coat rack here, which is super cool. We like it. So we're going to do something right here. I already marked a few of the spots that I need and I made my design of the coat rack, which is right down here, along with everything else that we're going to need to do this installation. This is everything that kind of uh, is what it's going to take. So what we have here is we have uh, our design and I'm just going to bring it up. We're going to do something like this right here and then there's another piece that's going to kind of come up this way and then they have some uh, nice decorative pieces that go in the middle here. So first thing you want to do is make your design which we decided to go with something like this and I want to install this little guy first which is um, one of the middle pieces between two longer pieces. So let me go ahead and grab those and we're gonna this just a little Piece. It's got these grooves on the back here. You just simply slide them in like this and slide it in like that. If you're doing this at a straight angle like this, they do make some J hooks that you can hook down from the bottom of here. It looks like this. We're just planning on using it on this nub right here, but I can show you guys an example of that because we installed the other half of this on the other side over there, which keep watching. I'll show you all that at the end so y'all can get an idea for what this looks like. But First, we, oh, we need to drill our pilot holes first, too. So, uh, this piece right here has a hole, and then each of these knobs right here have two holes. So, you can choose if you want to do a hole in the top or the bottom. We just used one in the top. I also located my studs using the stud finder so that I could have more uh, stable security, whatever. You know, you don't want the thing falling on you. So, let's go ahead and drill. We have our top one right here. That one was a studded one, which I wanted uh, two of them to be in the studs. So now we're going to, this is for the little small square one right here. And then we have another one right here. This is going to be another stud right here. Uh, let me make sure. And then we have one more right down here as well. All right. Now the one thing about this product are the anchors. We had an issue with our anchors. These are the ones that they send you right here. And as you can see, there's no like little little lip at the edge of the anchor. So whenever we put it in, it slipped through to the other side of the wall. So this is something that they're actually changing in their production. And so uh, they always take their customers feedback and they implement it, which is fantastic. But for the meantime, I have some of these right here. And as you can see, they have a nice lip along there. So it's actually gonna hold into the wall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw one of these. Actually, that one's a stud, it doesn't need one. One right there, okay, let's clean that up. One right there. So we contacted the inventor of this coat rack and they're actually changing out the anchors for the next batch that's coming through on Amazon. So you'll notice in the kit that there's two different screw sizes. You have the short ones and the long ones. The long ones are for these because they need to go all the way through the knob. The shorter ones are for the little square pieces right here because they don't have to go as far into the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and put on this one first. Let me switch out my drill bit to be... Ow. Let me switch out my drill bit <laughs> to be a Phillips head. Like that. And let's go ahead and get this one installed. Once you have your design, it's really easy to get this thing going. I'm also gonna leave this just a tad bit loose because I wanna be able to have some wiggle room for whenever I'm installing the, uh, the other pieces. But the reason why I put this one on first is because whenever you go to install these, first of all, on the back here, there's this ring, which I'm going to show you guys how to install that whenever we get to the last one, so keep watching to the end. But uh, you're going to want to leave one of these open right here so that you can put it into uh, this little piece right up top here. So 
just gonna go ahead and take that. We're gonna push it on in, line it up, and then grab your longer screw. And you can just simply, this one's gone into a stud, so it doesn't have the anchor in there. And we're just gonna screw that one on in. There we go. Now, whenever it comes to the next piece, this is where we're gonna put the other end of this one right here, but you want to make sure that you have your uh, other piece that's connected to it so that whenever you go to put this one on, you don't have to fumble with it to try and get it into the correct groove. So, we're just gonna go ahead and slip this guy on on the hole that is free right here, just like that. And then now we want to take our screw Put that on into here where the anchor is. And let's screw this one in. Perfect. Again, we're gonna take off this last piece right here. I wanna press this one down onto here, just like this. I'm gonna grab our screw. We're gonna put this in. And then we're going to screw this one into a stud, just because I measured it so that it would hit a stud nicely. Now, where is that? Now for the back of this, this is what I wanted to show you. We had to do this beforehand with all these other three, but you have this ring of these little uh, blocks right here. And you're just going to, it pushes in, but you're going to cut off the one where you might have a hook and the one where you're going to be putting, connecting it to right here. So you just have to kind of figure out exactly where that is. It's gonna be this one right here. So you just simply take a pair of scissors and you chop off right where it's the break is. Like that. You can also just kind of pry them off too, we found, if you just wanna kind of break them off because they have that nice preparation in there. And then we also have our J hook here, which we need to account for as well. So let me just go ahead and line this up. It's gonna be this one right here. So we're just gonna need two of these. So I'm gonna press two into that. And this is just to give it kind of that flush look. Oh, let me take off that one right there. And if you, uh, if you mess it up for any reason, you can just put a single square in there. It's not like a, uh, a hard science where it has to be exact or anything like that. Let's see, this is gonna be where that one is, so I wanna skip one, and then we're gonna put in all the other side right here. We're gonna line this one up with this right here. Press that against, put it into your anchor right there, and we're gonna screw this one on in. Just like that. If you want to check to make sure it's level, you can use your little level right here to put it on there. I did that beforehand, so we're looking good right there. And then as far as the fronts of these to cover up the screws, they come with these little guys right here. It just has a little post in the back here to be able to screw it in. And you just take this and screw it right on in. These are made of just a wood right here. Doesn't seem like to be any coating or anything on there. So if you have doing this for your kids and you wanna have a little fun with the kids, they can paint these or color on them or do something like that. Just give them a little extra design or something like that. Uh, they might enjoy putting some stickers on there. You know, whatever they wanna do to make it fun for them, personalize a little bit. I thought that coloring them would be kinda of neat, but we're gonna leave them as a wood for right now. Now the other thing is that they make this in not only the wood, but also a polished chrome as well. So if you wanted to have a, a chrome look as opposed to the wood look, you can do that, which that over there, which is the other coat rack that we installed, has those chrome ones on there. So I'm gonna show you guys that after I get this little guy in. And we have one more thing to do here before we finish. You obviously see that this little screw right here is still exposed. These square pieces come with these little caps right here. So all you have to do is simply push that on and that finishes it out right there. Now you have plenty of hooks right here to be able to hook bags and purses and coats. And honestly, you could probably hang like pictures from here if you wanted to use it as like a cool picture uh, hanging thing as well. But 
This is one in action right here. We actually have my wife's purse on here already. This is the chrome that I was talking about right there. It has the hook underneath, so if you did want to hook from underneath, you can do that. This is my jacket right here, again with the chrome. Again, it's very fun, very modern looking. I really like how you can create your own designs right here. So if you guys are looking for a modern looking coat rack display, definitely go and check out this right here by Tidy Hangers. And thank you to them for sending this to us uh, and partnering with us so that we could show you guys how this thing gets installed. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all want to see my full on review of this thing, I'm gonna put that right there on the screen. You guys go and click that video. I'm gonna see y'all in that video. Thank y'all for watching and dad out.